So, yes, the holidays will look a little different this year, but many of the elements for a festive celebration remain. For example, cocktails are still in full effect. So Kimberly's here to show us how to set up a pretty holiday bar to enjoy with the people in your home. And Kimberly, before we get started, we just want to remind everyone, check the municipal and provincial rules wherever you live before making your plans, right? Yeah, absolutely. This year is going to be a lot about treating ourselves kindly and well and taking care of our communities, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy a beautiful bar. And a year ago, we completed this project for clients, and this is a stunning home bar, and they're going to have to put off enjoying it for another year, I'm afraid. But they wanted to create the feeling of an English bar, and so we have this beautiful walnut wood paneling. We've got this louver detail at the front. I love the dramatic marble. At in the backsplash and then we lit everything uh, with some dedicated lighting and I think one mistake people make when they think about setting up their own at-home bar is they try to fill the wall full of all the glassware and gadgets I think that can be a little overwhelming so leave some breathing space so you can appreciate the beautiful things you've collected and then we added some artwork as well which I think really finishes it off nicely that is gorgeous. Reminds me of Coronation Street. It is lovely. The lighting is so sexy. Now, for those of us who don't have that much space, what options do you have for us? Right, which is most of us, right? So I went to EQ3 and I found this great bar cart, which I think is such a versatile piece of furniture. Now, regularly you might have some staples on the bottom and of course you always want to have non-alcoholic drinks at the ready and on top I've got a champagne bar set up and a great bottle of champagne doesn't need anything to mix with it but you might in fact want to buy a less expensive Prosecco this year and then mix it with some pink grapefruit juice and have something really pretty I think a lot of us are pulling out glassware that we have had for many years but maybe haven't used just to treat ourselves well, since we're talking about uh, sparkly, I love a champagne flute, but I see that coupes are very hot right now. It's like they're making a big comeback. You know, every single time there's kind of uncertainty in the universe, and 2020 has certainly provided enough of that, the traditional things come back. We long for nostalgia, and so the coupe has become extremely popular again. I found these colored coupes from uh, the Cocktail Emporium, but so pretty, right? And I don't know if you've ever heard this urban myth, which is really ancient, which is that the coupe glass takes its shape from Marie Antoinette's left breast. I have no idea what the deal with the right one is, but apparently it's the left one. Now, you mentioned that uh, you've got it in a colored coupe, and I'm thinking colored glassware, also a trend we're seeing more of right now. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at this, isn't this pretty? Like cut and just amber and smoky, so gorgeous. And you know, it, these kinds of things come and they go in terms of trends. You may have something like this already. Um, my new favorite tool to have in my bar is a mixing jar. So here we've got the makings of a Bloody Mary or you could do a Bloody Caesar. And we've got this beautiful colored glass and then the mixing jar that has a pour spout, making it really oh. easy for you to pre-mix drinks. Isn't that nice? And you know, people go crazy with Bloody Marys. They put herbs in there, they put like entire breakfasts, but I think, you know, one, you know, pepper stick might be the perfect solution. So I love that. Yeah, colored glass is very much in this year. One thing that always comes in handy is a tray because of course you can pick it up and you can move it. And red wine and white wine, of course, never go in or out of fashion. So a lovely decanter is something nice to have. And if you're not a drinker and you happen to own something beautiful like this, put it in the bathroom with mouthwash in it. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then in terms of thoughtful gestures or big gifts this year, if you're thinking about it, a gorgeous uh, bottle opener. How pretty is that in the mm. copper? Again, cocktail emporium. So, so beautiful. So I think this year's gifts are going to be about thoughtful gestures. And if you know somebody who loves to make a cocktail, you know, something as simple as a pineapple syrup or pineapple bitters, an old fashioned bitters, celery bitters, how yummy would that be in gin or tequila? Just a thoughtful gesture. I think this year is going to go a long way. Great tips, my friend, and great tips yes. for uh, those old fashioned cocktails, which are super on trend right now. Cheers to you.